It's Mutant Bobblehead Day for the first 10,000 fans with extra limbs here at Three Mile Island Stadium here in Steeltown, Pennsylvania. I got seven extra knuckles, Grim. Hey, extra fingers and toes don't count. And today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams are taking the field. The Snuffle Thrills take on the Blitzburg Steelheads. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Grim Blitzrow with you on MFL Game Day. Hey, uh, Briggs, do you smell something burning? Ah, uh, thanks for reminding me. I left my rubber foot in the toaster oven to warm it up. Last time I left it there too long, it came out like Saganaki. Oh, uh -huh. It's freezing in here. Hey, why don't you take a shampoo and ouzo, stick your head in the toaster oven. That'll warm you up. And it's first and ten. He's got his beast boost working. The player just transformed into a violent form of pure badass. And he finds open space. He's running toward the end zone. Turn on your jets, you son of a bitch. I've seen this guy run through a brick wall. He loves pain. First down. And it's first and ten. for the first down. First down and three. Hot, hot one, hot two, eight. And the crowd goes wild. Touchdown, touchdown. Shouldn't be easy, but with kickers, you never know. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return it for... You know what? Never mind. It's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. Third down, and the punter is warming up. That's a gain of 10 yards. stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. Oh, he was hitting mid hurl and fumbles the ball. And it's first and ten. Second down, and we've got to pick up. 
up at least half of this. It's two yard run before he stopped. Third down and well, good luck. Blow up the defense today. <laughs> he was right. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. He's got the ball now and he's going to try and score. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my offseason. And it's first and ten. Like he just ran into the line at the DMV. And guess what, Grim? Deadline ain't moving. Yeah, that was kind of my point, Bricks. Second down and ten. And picks up maybe a deuce at most. Uh, speaking of deuces, I gotta, uh... <clears throat> hey, you got a dollar for the bathroom attendant? He threatened me if I didn't tip him next time. Hunter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is in palm grim. That cross stitching, unbelievable. And he's got a chance for a good return here. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. Starting to go somewhere, but he gets stumped after three. They usually stop me after three, too. You know, the all you can eat buffets? They're not as literal as you'd think. Second down and seven. Well, it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. And that'll bring up third down and seven. Looks like the coach is ripping that play from the playbook. What a dud. No, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. Nice punt. Should move them back nicely. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. I had a dog named Snags. He got hit by a car and died. I just call it Oh, with the brain scrambler. And it's first and ten. Catch the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. First and ten. And into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the races. See that move, baby? I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that. Too fast. <laughs> Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. And as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And it's 
First and ten. Second down in a mile. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabag after that hit. And so at the end of one, we're all tied up. We'll be right back. Second down in a lot. Ouch. What is this, 80s wrestling? Hey, what? Come on, man. You can't hang with me. You get my grill, I'm gonna ruin your world. You understand me? Third down, the offense needs a miracle. Heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a peck ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. And he got an off. That's a decent punt. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. First down and seven. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. Second down and six. If you don't hear it coming, oh, great catch, and that's a touchdown! Some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What? They get the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. It's good. <laughs> they need a good return here to set up the offense. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. First and ten. Oh, I love this dirty trick. G5 fell bum. Stop him into the and with a burst of speed, he finds an opening and the first down. 
And it's first and ten. And that is caught for a first down. And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. Oh, look at this guy break tackles. He takes a lick and it keeps on ticking. Third down and the QB is saying his prayers. Not many kickers can kick it over 50 yards in these brutal conditions. Let's see if he can do what few others can. That was like a movie trailer, Grim. And it's a miss. Looks like the QB had some issues with the ball placement. Spikes out. Spikes out. How many times do you have to tell that idiot QB to hold the ball with the spikes out? be waking up anytime soon. And if he does, he'll probably wake up in his own wake. Then it really killed the somber mood of a wake, wouldn't it? And it freak everybody out. And it's first and ten. Hit. Under two minutes of timeout means the QB is playing beat the clock and he better win. Second down and six. And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. And the offense quickly calls their second timeout. That's how you do it. Do what? First down and nine. And that's just a great run for a touchdown. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. The kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. Timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. And it's first and ten. Oh, a 
with the brutal hit. The QB saves some clock by calling a timeout. They have one left. And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. Oh, big catch! Big run! Big touchdown! Yeah, big deal. Missed a beat for Frank Graham with a ball and didn't fall down. And they line up for the extra point. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck off. That was just a one time thing. First and ten. Nine, one. Nine. Defense gives up five yards on that pass play. And they take their last time out. It's between them and the clock now, Graham. Well, and the defense, too. Second down and five. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh boy, where are we going, Grim? A carnival? Huh? Uh, we're gonna go to a strip tease show, where are we going? Why don't you settle down? Just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my... Oh, mama. He just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, up a lot of real estate in a hurry. Give him 10 yards right there. Second down the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. The defenders are scared of this guy, Bricks, and they have every right to be. Yeah, he's a murderer! And it's first and ten. Second down and long. Hot one, hot two, hot three. And then it's a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. And it's first and ten. Hey. And there's an eight-yard catch. Chipping away with those medium passes. I like a patient prison break. Second down and two.
third down and long. Oh, man, what a throw. And, and he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It's good. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay. And it's first and ten. There aren't too many players that kids can look up to at home. I'm glad one guy is stepping up. Well, he's stepping down, too. He just stopped that play. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. And it's first and ten. up a two. And that'll be second and eight to go. First down! And this guy is a stud, Bricks. They're telling me! Nice run! No, I mean, he's a real stud. He works at the Mutant Stud Farm weekends and summers. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're gonna hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. And it's first and ten. Second down and a very lot. It's not too often a quarterback gets rejected. That's why that's the position I originally tried out for. I want to know what it's like for other people to accept you. Well, that went from a joke to making me feel feelings. Stop it. This isn't a place to feel feelings. This is football. And he's got a chance for a good return here. Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. And it's first and ten. And the quarterback 
finds his man for the first down. And it's first and ten. Great run for a nine-yard gain. And that'll bring up second and one. Looks like a pass, and it's bouncing right back to the QB. Oh, it's the sticky ball dirty trick. Ah, oh, pass the popcorn, Grim. Zoom in on his face, uh, then his crotch. I want to see if he cries or pisses himself first. <laughs> And that'll bring up third down and seven. And he runs it for four yards. It might make more sense to punt here than attempt a field goal. This is way too long. Quarter three comes to an end, but this game is far from over and will be decided in the final quarter. I hope some lucky fan gets to catch the ball. This is going to be a great kick. With how hard he's going to have to kick it, they'd probably die, Bricks. Pass me the binocular. And it's good. You know, Grim, in this league where murder and bribery are cheered, it's good to be good, huh? I mean, can't we all just... Not this shit again. Bricks, I'm stopping it right there. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. First and ten. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it too. Second down and ten. Oh man, he really worked. And the ground game is starting to soften up the defense. First down. And it's first and ten. And he held on to that one for a first down. And it's first and ten. Talk about Butterfingers. He should have had that one. Second down and ten. Huge pass play for one yard. Third down and nine. With kickers, you never know. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Man, what a hit that was. First and ten. Oh, 
One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the line. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. The defense better look out. The offense called the Beast Boost Dirty Trick. Shoveled his feet so well on that play. He should go to lost wage. Well, that's a strange penalty called right there. I'm sad to notice that this ref likes talking, and he don't make much sense. No, but he's making a lot of dollars. Second down in a lot. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. And he gets three yards on that run. Third down and never gonna happen. The one-way dirty trick is always good for an easy kill. Well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, don't, well, maybe actually. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. This guy's a brick shit. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. And it's first and ten. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten. When the defense calls Thunderclap, the offense is toast. Oh, did he ever get zapped? Reminds me, you ever hear that Zappa song, Watch Out Where the Huskies Go? Don't you eat that yellow snow? When I was a kid, I always ate the yellow snow. They were like lemon snow cones. But them fudge ice cream sandwiches, eh, they didn't taste so good. And the defense just called the ginormous dirty trick. His big ass will probably show up on the radar. This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. Most kickers should be able to make this one. But will this kicker make it? Find out next time on NFL Game Day. Uh, NFL isn't episodic, Rick. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Now, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And it's first and ten. That would have been a disappointing run. It's even a worse throw. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense.
Third down, and the, the offense calls a timeout. This is why you save your timeouts. You can use them in the two-minute warning. Now I get it. Makes sense, Grim. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, same as Brits' ex-girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yeah, she called it rabbit sex. I took it as a compliment. And they went to the air and came up big. <laughs> too little, too late. For well, that's two timeouts burned. And you have to wonder, Bricks, are they desperate or are they in control? Yeah, I'm speaking from experience, Grim. But it really is hard to do both at the same time. And I have mastered it. And they're still alive, like a zombie. You know, dead man walking. And it's first and ten. The quarterback burns his last time out. They can't stop the clock anymore. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. And it's first and ten. with the brutal hit. Second down and five. They get their hands up and block a pass. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. <laughs> well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The onside kick is a desperation play, but it's their only chance at this point to steal a possession. Stealing ain't right, Grim. It just ain't right. Perfect kick and recovery by the kicking team. goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Grim? Aren't we all? And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done! Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. Changes the pace by going into a hurry up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry up too? Grim, can I kill him? And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has. The Steelheads walk away victorious today. He was quite a nail biter today. They came up big with a one point win to seal the victory. Who wants wings? I do. Make them extra spicy. I like it when they come out hotter than when they go in. I'm buying. Let's listen to the MVP. Maybe he wants some wings, too. Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Newton Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by Comcraft.